Oh, this game is pretty, man. Oh, and we're already right in the game. I'm stuck at Campaign HQ. Coming up with good accessibility options for an action game like this seems really hard to do. It would be very difficult to do, but um, I'm like chef's kiss on that. Like that's that's awesome. That's awesome that they did something like that. They have so many options. How smooth this game. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey, where's the five bucks? I helped you. Give me five bucks. What's that? <laughs> no. Good Samaritans, right? Where's all the masks? Why aren't they wearing masks? I don't really understand. Can you imagine if there was a mod to put everybody in masks? Hey, uh, you think you're gonna add that new Spider-Man too? The kid? Yeah, uh, maybe. Original's just my guy, you know? Yeah, I know. Hey, is Tails Bodega around here? Yeah, bright yellow sign down the block. Can't miss it. Thanks. Beautiful work, by the way. Maybe leave a little room for the new guy. Just in case. The, the sound design in this game is already freaking amazing, especially with wearing a headset. Go, Spider-Man! Go! Look at how pretty this game is, man. Like, I played Bug Snacks, and I played Astro's Playroom. This is, like, my first... Oh, this is beautiful. Hey, Pete, headed your way. Did I miss the convoy? Not yet. I'm still securing a couple inmates. Man, it feels good seeing the guys who escaped last year going back to the raft. Real good. The raft's an eyesore. Secure. I gotta get used to all this again. As long as the octopus related flaws have been fixed. Let's hope. Okay, closing in on you. Be there soon. His voice. Should let Mom know His voice is a little whiny. <laughs> it's very whiny. Holy oh, shit. I didn't even realize that. Oh, thank you. But avoid made town. That prison convoy is making traffic a night. Press X to jump and gain speed. See you at dinner, Mom. Man, how does Pete do this secret identity thing? It completely stresses me out. Oh, while holding R2. I was I was just not doing it. That's funny. Oh, I like that. Okay, so if you look, his his like swinging is very frantic. Like it's not as smooth as Spider-Man. So every time I release, he like does some weird like stuff. That's interesting. down in some rocket fuel all right how are you drinking very very carefully okay go time oh, i thought he just littered i was gonna be like that's great this is a big operation it's gotta be hundreds of felons escaped from the raft last year now it's time to move them back in police aren't taking any chances Especially not with our guest of honor. Getting a lot of interference here. One of those guys who helped Doc Doc is in there? I think so. Could be Vulture, could be Scorpion, could be someone bigger. Okay, we got Oh problem. shit. Hold back, Miles. Let me take that guy this beat. Don't worry. Huh? No. <laughs> it's secure. No. No.
That's what happens when you have two Spider-Mans. Oh, that cop died. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Oh my god. Captain Hive, have you played through this before? Hello, These fighters. Oh, you look cool, Rhino. I like their take on enemies in these Spider-Man games. Miles, I've got Rhino, but you have to contain the escapees. Right. Why why do all the escapees have Oh, you played the game before this? Yeah, that's what I did too. I played the first one. Oh, guns. Uh, our own repeatedly to web up enemies and stick them to nearby surfaces. So it's the it's the exact same combat system as the first one. I don't know how to get to them really quickly. I don't remember. Oh shit. Do they change all of Spider-Man's voiceover work as well? Or is that the same Spider-Man voice too? They just change his face. I'll say Peter Parker. I won't say Spider-Man because there's two Spider-Mans. Sounds the same? Okay, okay. Uh, L2, R2 to perform a zip to point. How fast he's moving, holy crap. Oh, this is like their... This is like their spectacle of how amazing this game is gonna look. <laughs> Dear Rhino to avoid obstacles. <laughs> Do you have any non-destructive hobbies? Oh, there we go. Hey, 
The Christmas tree. I'd want to hit that. <laughs> yeah, you were. Uh, uh. Hey, trophy. My first Spider-Man trophy. He's a low energy menace. Too easy. Maybe he's a weak-minded. Oh, hey, Jonah, looking good. Very fast. That's awesome. Oh, Ma, come on. It doesn't. It doesn't even sound like you're running. I'm trying. I'm trying to get as close to him as possible, buddy. But you know what's really difficult? Is that this is just preemptive. We have just caused over a hundred million dollars in damage. Oh, that sucks. Pete, are you okay? Make that billions of dollars of damage. Yeah. No, no, yep. no. I'm okay. I've got him. Headed your way. Be ready. Okay. Yeah. Might, uh... Yeah, but if we just let Rhino kill us, then it might be fine. No, probably not. Oh, look at my suit. That's r oh, Lord. Oh, I didn't. I love how there's a boss fight going on behind me. How do I how do I get up there? I don't remember. Oh well, I got up here. Uh, hitting a 15 combo earns you the ability to perform a finisher, building, attacking, or dodging without getting hitting. Ah, yeah. oh, that's cool. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going to this guy. Everyone has an unproductive day of work every once in a while. It gave me a 20 hit combo out of pity. Shut up, it did not. How come I can't just like get up there? Like this seems like really slow. I Uh, web strike. Yeah, I feel like there's an easier way for me to get up, but whatever. Yeah, I think I think I think there's definitely an easier way for me to. get to places but yeah petty combo <laughs> oh fancy pants i agree wholeheartedly i uh i was not happy about that state of play there was there was nothing in that i i had very much interested in like that kina game looks okay but yeah nothing i'm gonna look at that clip later man it probably did give me a pity one but yeah fancy pants the it was it was a terrible state of play. No. I would like to exchange for you. Ah, the 
this one. Oh, damn. Yeah, Fancy Pants, totally agree. Like, I, I walked away from that half hour being like, oh, so you guys really don't have much planned. Interesting. Okay, so I have a Venom Punch. Venom Punch causes Venom Stun on impact. Venom Stunned enemies take bonus damage from basic attacks. Venom Punch costs Venom Power. <laughs> Build a venom power by attacking or dodging enemies. The Nintendo Direct was way better. Way better. Uh, uh. Oh, I missed! No. There. See ya, buddy. Uh, tap, 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 tap. Oh, it was ready, and he, yeah. Hey, hey, just punch him. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Venom Punch is such a poor name for that. Yeah. I think I I think I missed a, a thing because I looked at chat. It's okay, though. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't like that that's called a Venom Punch. That's interesting. I thought it, that was the last Nintendo was bad. The state of play made it look great. That's funny. Um, I like the Nintendo Direct. I thought they showed a lot of good stuff in that. Yeah, why not just call it a lightning strike? Fred, you're getting your butt kicked. I'm getting my butt kicked on friendly. I thought the Nintendo Directs have been fantastic. Most of them have been really, really, really good. Um, I think they do a really good job of having a very compact schedule of games. And then the Pokemon Direct was really, really cool. Pleasure to meet you. And you too. That sounds like Nolan North. Sorry, I think our ball landed in your yard. No. Actually did us a favor. We uh, just bought the place. Uh, we're planning to tear it down for a build. But it uh, looks like you beat us to it. I wanted to thank you. You only like the remaster. Taking down Rhino? Solo? <laughs> you are going places, bud. Thanks. But he, he's still dangerous. Uh, we'll I, want, I want some Elden Ring place. stuff, man. You know, That's what I want. Super troopers are overkill until something like this happens. Nope. Duty calls. Hey, uh, really great to meet you both. <laughs> Future's looking bright. Hello. Hey. He's right. Yeah. Let's clear out. 
Let the police do their job. I don't trust that. Yeah, Elden Ring, the the new like Soulsborne game from From Software. It's like supposed to be in the like the the Game of Thrones type thing because the who's the writer of Game of Thrones? He's George R. R. Martin or whatever. He's supposed to be involved in that game. You want Baldur's Gate three? I've never been into the Baldur's Gate games. I've been meaning to tell you. I'm not gonna be around. None of what Larian Studios does, I've been totally it's interested in, like the whole top-down, no. uh, um, like CRPGs. Requested me as her photographer. Kind of a working vacation for us. Fancy pants. What I'm interested in is that open-world um, RPG that they talked the about during the Pokemon one. Oh, you're recording the trailer. But then you delivered Vermont. big time. Vermont. You saved my bacon, Miles. I got lucky. Hey. I did this gig for eight years without backup, and you better believe I screwed up lots of times. But that is how you learn. <gasps> A present. What's this? Christmas present. But first, you gotta take the oath. Oh. Um, okay. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. That's it? He didn't. He didn't say the rest. He didn't say the rest. Definitely didn't just make it up. Terrible oath. Terrible. Few weeks, Spider-Man. New York's only Spider-Man. Spider-Man's taking a vacation. I will never get used to you doing that. Hey, look, check it. Christmas present from Spider Man. Open it. Dude, put it on. I'll cover you. Why is there very little announced for video games this year worth the price or worth buy it all? No idea, man. Um, I know that a lot of people were excited for Persona 5 Strikers. Um, I know the Mario stuff, like the with the Bowser's Fury, people were excited about. Pokemon Snap, people are really excited about. Um, but for... Oh. What is going on here? Very first fighters. Unlocked a new suit. These can be equipped through the suit's menu in the suit's page. 
I tried Fancy Pants. I tried the Outriders demo. Uh, I don't know if you've given that a shot. Um, it was okay. Like, I tried it with two buddies and stuff like that. It wasn't terrible. Um, but, and it's from the guys who did Gears of War and stuff. It's okay. Head up down for part two of this amazing gift. <laughs> okay. Cool. So I'm going to want to unlock all the suits and stuff too. Gotcha. Oh, I can't even move. This is only half of the present. What's the other half? I'll let you know when I find it. Uh, the first part is a Wii U port. The Bowser's Fury isn't a Wii U port. Um, Bowser's Fury is a brand new game. Welcome to Just the Facts with me, your truth-slinging host with the most. Came with two. Came with two things: a new uh, port and a new game. Um, I've. I've heard I've heard different than what you're saying there. Um, it's not boring. It's just they have a lot of they have a lot to fix still. Um, it's it's fun with people, but the dialogue is piss poor. The audio design is bad. Um, the the questing flow is just like. Go here, beat these enemies. Go here, beat these enemies. Go here, beat these enemies. Complete. Like, they, they have a lot to do. And that's why it's a live service game, right? But I will agree it wasn't... Not something I'll buy day one. So. Uh, oh, it's this here. What if what if somebody else found this? Get ready for your first holographic training challenge. These challenges are spread throughout the city. Each one focuses on a new move or technique. It's worth trying, Outriders. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Hollow training? Oh, I am so down. First up, air combat. Fighting the enemy on your turn is a great way to gain the advantage. Old square to perform an air launch. Okay. Now follow up with a mid air attack. And now a personal favorite, the swing kick. Okay. Press X to jump. This holotech is right parts, but I can make it portable. Cool. Oh, there you are. Yeah, disarming is what I wanted to know. Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, and that pulls them. Nice, nice. You pay six dollars to get a five-hour mini game. That was just fury. Oh yeah, but we pay sixty dollars to get five to six hour experiences all the time. So that's the other thing is you have to let people like things, right? So if you if somebody buys a sixty dollar experience and gets enough out of that five to six hour game, good for them, right? Because there's tons of reason to go back to it later too. Like what did we we paid back in the day when I had an NES, I paid it was 60 bucks for Super Mario, the new Super, or not new Super Mario, the Super Mario Brothers game with Duck Hunt, and the game took me, what, like, less than two hours to beat? Like, I can't, I can't really complain if I really got so much out of it, right? Uh, yank. Make sure you practice the listed moves. Oh, I did. Oh, did I do that wrong? Up. Oh, I hit him. Okay, I see what you're saying. Right.
friggin' cool. Love it. Give me this weapon. Cool. I don't like MMOs or live service games. You have to be online all the time. There's expiration date, so you paying to get mostly useless goods. Um... Do you play? Do you pay for a PlayStation Plus service? So if you, oh, I'll, I'll say it after. Oh, because it's... <laughs> That's funny. So I'm fighting, I'm fighting them and them. What the hell? I did that. Okay, there you go. Actually, you take this. Uh uh <laughs> Bye. He fell off the edge. He probably died. So Um if you so you pay for PlayStation Plus, that's what I'm guessing, right? Um You're quitting after your PlayStation Plus expires? But you did, right? So all of those PlayStation Plus games that you got with your PlayStation Plus expire and you can't ever play them again, right? And I think that's a big misconception of people as well, is they're like, oh my god, my collection is so big. But really, you don't own any of those games on PlayStation Plus that they give you. There is a time limit to them. But we pay for things like that. So like people who pay, and you don't, but people who pay for Final Fantasy XIV or people who pay for that type of thing are getting their money worth because they're getting their enjoyment for those 30 days. So if they put enough time and effort into it and they like it, it's worth the money. That's it. There's no questions asked. If you enjoy it and you spent the money on it, worth the money. 100%. But for you, you don't like MMOs. You don't like live service games. So you're not going to spend the money on it. That makes sense. So don't do it. Easy. Let's try a BIOS reset. Nice. That did it. it. Looks like P made stealth, swinging, and combat challenges. Gotta check these out when I get a chance. Oh, I'll probably have to do those later. Okay. And I don't, I haven't leveled up again. Um, I disagree with you. I don't think that most of the PlayStation Plus games suck. Like, Control just came out, and I think that's an experience that I really want to play. Um, Bug Snacks was amazing. It was so much fun to play Bug Snacks. Um, I think there are months where they have terrible games, but I think that just having the ability to have $3,000 to $4,000 worth of games in a year... For you to try that you may never have tried before for 60 70 bucks a year i think that's worth it for sure it's a service that i think is worth it i also bought into playstation now only because i got like a 50 percent discount on playstation now but playstation now is awesome too i really like it game pass is phenomenal like all these services are great you don't own the games kind of sucks but if i'm gonna have this service all the time that's fine Okay, Thank let's go. You so much for telling people about this podcast. We've jumped the charts from 136 to 87. Like, uh, wow. <laughs> okay. The Danacast. Today I'm doing a quick cast before I head downtown for my citizenship test, and I'm answering Fandiax. First one. Uh, press L3 to air dive. Oh, yeah, that's right. I love his, like, right here when I let go. Yeah, love it. Talk about the news, and while we don't always agree, 
Whoa! Okay, let me see how fast I can get this. There we go. I want to be able to play my game day one in seven years from now. Yeah, so you just so just go buy it in the store. Go buy it on digital, right? I, I'm not that way. I don't feel that I want to play... Like, for instance, I bought God of War. But I, I'm not going to play God of War again seven years down the line. I don't think I'm going to. And if I am, it's probably going to be super cheap, so I'll be okay to, to purchase it. But. Simon. Um, Skiffy, it's, yeah, it's, it's here and there, Skiffy, for sure. Um, I think that Games with Gold has some really good things sometimes. PlayStation Plus has some really good stuff sometimes. Like, it's, it's here and there. I think they, they both have their months, but for sure they're not, like, the greatest. But you can't, the other thing is, like, you can't really expect, if you buy a lot of games anyways... A lot of people find disappointment in PlayStation Plus and um, Games with Gold because they already own the games and they're like, oh, damn, this month sucks because I already have these. Well, that's not the point. The point is for people who have not played these games and they are just putting these games out for people who, right? That type of thing. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I've 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 complained about PlayStation Plus before with specific games, um, but that's mainly because I had no interest in them. For people who are like, oh yeah, I've always wanted to try this out. So like Man Eater, Man Eater, I was like, I don't care about Man Eater. I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna play it, or I'll play it offline or whatever. But I was like, it's cool that it's there that I can play it, but I have no interest in it. So it was like a disappointing time for me. Um, yeah. Uh, Games with Gold is as long as you have a gold subscription, though, right? Oh, jeez. Whereas Games with Gold, you don't even need a subscription. Man, this map is just not quick. Uh, oh my god, you guys have huge fists. Oh, mid-air finisher? That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Who else am I looking for? Oh, these guys. How do I get up there? Oh. How the hell do I get up there? I have no idea how to get up there. Oh, oh. L2, R2. Okay. L2 R2 was my was my winner right there. Why can I not see this guy? Where is he? Oh, there he is.
Gold with games of gold you get to keep. Okay, that's really cool. I didn't know that. So like Microsoft has a really good system there then with um Yeah, they have a really good system there. I like that. But I'm not I'm not the type of person to replay a lot of games. Um, I think the only games that I've ever really gone back to are like Soulsborne games. Um, yeah. Where'd you go? Yeah, that's really neat. Okay. There we go. See ya. And what destruction? They were talking about new farm shipments. Need to figure out what they found so I know yeah the, the important thing to come out of that whole conversation though is like if you don't if you don't enjoy it and you're not going to do it then just don't pay for it and enjoy the things that you want to that you want to enjoy right where for other people it's like they're going to put the money towards it because they do so for me i'm going to put the money towards playstation plus i'm going to put the money towards um playstation now because i get my money's worth and my enjoyment out of discovering new games like i'm a i'm a a uh, nva track nice to see you how are you um i'm a former professor of game design i work in the industry so i i'm a like i've been a programmer a project manager a producer all those things in the game industry and right now i work for a multi-million dollar mobile company um as a qa analyst so it's like my my life my career is gaming um and i i like i love it um and if i can discover new games through playstation plus through playstation now through game pass through any of these things that where it's games that i would never have tried in a million years but they're offered to me it's a discovery program for me right so i'll just spend the money on it but uh, there's a lot of people who do not think that way so Baron is one of my favorite games ever. Did you play um, this one, Miles Morales NBA track, or did you did you just play the first one? Those games are too hard for me, and no matter how many times I try, I will never get good. Uh, I love Soulsborne games. Um, I think that they are the perfect difficulty for me. They're very hard, but they're very rewarding. And I've beaten every single Souls Souls game, uh, Bloodborne, Sekiro, uh, Salt and Sanctuary, um, The Surge, all of them. Beat them all. Love them. Great. Um, I disagree with you wholeheartedly, Fancy Pants. I think there's a lot in gaming worth playing. So, I gotta yeah. get home. Christmas dinner sounded pretty good right about now. Um, but to each their own. That's that's not a not a horrible thing. For sure. Um, did that go through? Did it? Did your follow pop up on stream? I don't know if it did. Let me just see this. Yeah, it did. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I'm going to turn that up. Thanks for the follow, Fancy Pants. I appreciate it. Uh, you streamed it yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, no, no, no. I fell. You just played it. That's so cool. Um, yeah. I love those type of conversations, though. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely love them. I think, uh, I think everybody has a right to their own views on what they like and what they don't like so yeah hey mva track thank you for the follow i appreciate it um uh lords of the fallen <laughs> lords of the fallen is bad <laughs> like i i played a bit of it and i don't like it so i didn't beat the rest of it because i thought that it was a bad game so yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, NBA Track, I love the Spider-Man games. I think the Spider-Man games are friggin' awesome. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate the support. If you like the content, consider subscribing to the channel so you can catch any future content that gets released. Also, you can catch me live on twitch.tv slash fredrock as I stream a variety of games over there. All other ways to support me are down in the description below, so feel free to click on any of those links. Thanks again. Thank you.